Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Out of Vancouver, our first day here. And uh, yeah, we are nine days here with Commodity TV. And uh, yeah, it's my honor and my pleasure here now in the offices of Endeavor Silver. With me here is Bradford Cook, the CEO and founder of the company, well known person, of course, at Commodity TV and, and Rohstoff TV. And yeah, we want to talk about 2015 and also what is coming up 2016. Bradford, happy new year and glad to be here. Happy new year, Jorge. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 2015 was a tough year. 2016 started also a little bit tough. Maybe you can comment a bit on your yeah, annual results you just published last week. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Jochen, for asking. We enjoyed another very strong year in operations in 2015, producing 11.4 million ounces of silver equivalents, mm -hmm. of which over 7 million ounces was silver and the balance was gold, 60,000 ounces of gold. So another solid year of operations for the company, notwithstanding the lower metal prices. I should also point out that uh, we drove our all-in sustaining costs of operations down for the third consecutive year. Mm -hmm. And for this year, uh, we fully expect to target lower all-in costs mm -hmm. in 2016. Where are the all-in sustaining costs? Uh, 2015 so at the, end now? Of the, at the end of the third quarter, they were about $15 per ounce of silver produced all-in. Mm -hmm. uh, but we actually expect that our, our um, results last year will come in below that for the entire year. Mm -hmm. And we're certainly targeting less than that in 2016. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, I'm sure you cannot speculate about it, but uh, it's for sure that you're going to bring down the costs again, right? Yes. Great. That's, uh, that's important. The silver price at $14. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so let's hope the no, gold we, and silver price are We expect price to rising. generate healthy free cash flow in yeah. 2016. That's what I wanted to hear. Perfect. Um, okay. Then uh, also you had good news uh, today about reserves and resources. So what's up there? Today we announced our updated reserves and resources mm -hmm. and even with last year's uh, production we were able to replace the depleted reserves so the reserves mm -hmm. are flat year on year. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually grew our measured and indicated silver resources by 7%. That's so good. our exploration results were once again very good. Mm -hmm. At each of the three mines we generated um, uh, additional mineralization, high grade mineralization through our exploration programs. Mm -hmm. That news was in today's news release and I'd like to highlight in particular uh, some latest uh, drilling results from our exciting new Terra Nera uh, mm -hmm. discovery. Which you want to bring uh, production eventually, right? We think it has the potential to mm -hmm. be our fourth mine. It will be the main focus of the company this year. And this today's drill results from Terra Nera included uh, up to 16 kilos of silver per ton. Wow, and uh, something about the gold? Yes, gold Associated? was, gold was yeah. uh, close to 10, 10 grams. Uh, so we have a very attractive uh, uh, deep drill hole at Terra Nera suggesting that maybe there's a feeder zone to the ore body that we found. Oh, that would help for the production solution. Yes, it would. <laughs> <Or> decision even. <laughs> Great. If you, if you would comment a bit on a broader base with the drill results, I mean, this is a super highlight. That's no question. But uh, as we always say, where smoke, there's fire, of course. Uh, if you would comment a bit more on the broader drill results. Um, sure. Whether well, you see the average a little bit. <clears throat> Uh, at Terra Nera, we typically see about 225 grams per ton of silver and 1.75 grams per ton of gold. Mm -hmm. That's a what? About 350 grams of silver equivalents as an average. Mm -hmm. And I believe the, th the vein thickness average is better than five meters. So Ooh, from, the nice. from the mining point of view, Terra Nera is a special discovery because it tends to be shallower than our other mines, uh, mm -hmm. thicker than our other mines, and uh, as rich as our richest mine. Mm -hmm. So that combination should drive very low economics. Our, our goal is to not only see Terra Nera as ultimately uh, our largest mine over time, uh, but it has the potential to be the highest quality mine with mm -hmm. the lowest Fantastic. costs. Great. And I yeah, expect from the metallurgy side, it's almost the same, which you had already, right? Generally, so straight, there are fairly, no issues, right? Fairly straightforward on all fronts. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, there are, uh, each site has its own um, opportunities and, and challenges. So there's a lot of water in that area. So water management uh, will be one of the, the key things that the engineering team focuses on. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think our goal this year at Terra Nera is to see if we can make it bigger. Because when we announced the initial economics last year, mm -hmm. we were modeling a small mine, 3 million ounces a year. Uh, at a thousand tons per day. Mm -hmm. Now we're thinking, well, we have lots of new discoveries. Can we actually make it bigger this year and go to 1,500 tons per day or 2,000 tons per day? Mm -hmm. That's a question we'd like to answer through drilling uh, mm -hmm. in 2016. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, now we talk about new mine. How do you think you can finance that? 
Uh, I did spend a fair amount of my time last year seeing what type of financing is available for mm -hmm. the construction of a new mine. And I am pleased to say even in this tough market, uh, there is money available at an acceptable uh, cost of capital for Endeavour. Mm -hmm. So I think though it would be easier to raise money if the project is bigger and higher quality. Mm -hmm. uh, even at these prices, $14, $15 silver, with a special project, you're not going to make a lot of money, you're going to make a little money. So uh, since we think Terranera is special, uh, we're looking for ways to uh, uh, drive the costs even lower. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Anticipated. Can you give us a bit of an idea for 2016? Where do you see, let's say, yeah, the toughest issue for the whole Endeavour group? Um, of course, we spoke about Terranera. This looks quite good. You will develop it, hopefully. And I think the final decision will be made this quarter, maybe next quarter. Um, but where do you see issues? Where do you think there's room to bring down the costs in addition and also from the <coughs> exploration side? Just a little bit of some highlights. Sure. Well, we all uh, we do plan to release our 2016 production and cost guidance mm -hmm. uh, within the next week or so. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't really speak to the numbers. No question. But in mm -hmm. general concept, last year, 2015, we were able to drive our costs down primarily by enjoying economies of scale through an expansion at our third mine, El Cubo. Mm -hmm. That was good enough to get the costs at Cubo down from $20 all in to uh, maybe 16, 17, 18, mm -hmm. but it's not good enough for 14, 15. Yeah. So we're taking a different strategy this year on the production at Kubo, and that will be part of our announcement next week. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, generally spoken, last question, the silver market. Can you give some comments from your, let's say, yeah, view as an expert, as somebody who is like 30, 40 years in the market, and also from the perspective mm -hmm. as a, one of the top producers in the world? People tend to ignore fundamentals um, when everything is down in price, the metal prices, the stock prices. It's really tough to think clearly at a time like this. Only know that uh, the Shanghai Gold Exchange uh, set a new record for gold deliveries last year. And the first uh, day in January almost matched the gold deliveries on the Shanghai Exchange for the entire month of January in 2015. Mm -hmm. From okay. the silver point of view, India set a new record for silver imports last year. And in January, uh, they almost, uh, January 1st, uh, the first trading day in January, uh, India imported almost as much silver as they imported in January of last year. So clearly uh, there is uh, uh, a part of our, our business, the gold and silver business, that thinks that this bullion is cheap and it's time to buy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great statement. Thank you very much, Bradford. All the best for 2016. I'm sure we meet us uh, yeah, soon again and we'll then talk about uh, your first quarter, of course. And yeah, keep fingers crossed and uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to make it. Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Bradford Cook, the founder and CEO of Endeavor Silver. And uh, yeah, well, you heard it, uh, shaky times, tough times, but uh, they came very well through 2015. They generate free cash flow, which is very important in those times. And also they had exceptional good, yeah, again, drill results with the expiration. Um, they replaced their production completely. Even silver was 7% higher than last year. And also at Terronera, they had uh, very, very good expiration results with over 16 kilograms of silver. Uh, in one sample uh, over I think it was 39 centimeters uh, in the width and uh, also the yeah, average uh, exploration results like uh, 225 grams silver and 1.75 grams of gold per ton. This is yeah fantastic to produce. They're going to build a mine, that's for sure, I think. And uh, yeah, we come back with you, uh, to you with an update. Thanks and bye-bye from Vancouver. <laughs>